Well, in the fires last summer, pretty traumatic, burned us right out. We, we pretty much lost, you know, 95% of our food at the time. We lost all our plantation, eucalyptus plantation, which is pretty devastating. 97% burnt out, I worked out, so, uh, yeah, so it was pretty severe. <laughs> We've got a lot of repairing still to do, restocking, uh, rebuilding, and um, yeah, it'll take longer than 12 months to, to get yeah, anywhere where we were before. Worthwhile, just the networking side of it, let alone anything else, just to get your heads together with like-minded people. One thing we did learn, I think, is um, when we're sowing pasture, maybe we always try to throw in too much of a mix. It was also good um, to see what the local lands are offering, um, the grants that have just been released. Um, and you sort of sit back and you think, you know, that could really help, especially with the way things are. For quite a while, we've been thinking about agritourism and the fire's really forced our hand now. Agritourism was mentioned at the workshop. It just reassured us that we're on the right track. Probably backing off on our breeding herd and, and maybe having a little bit of room to do a bit of trading or something, just to give you a bit of a buffer. So that's, that's something we'll sort of look in, into doing, yeah. Education is the best tool that you can have. And, you know, you've just got to be open to, to what's out there and and um, yeah, the speakers were brilliant. I think the workshops are very beneficial. Uh, you take a lot out of them. And um, look, there's always something you can pick up uh, at, at anything like that. But yeah, now we're getting by. We've got plenty of feed now. And uh, at the moment it's waist high and looking good. Hopefully by June next year, we might almost be on track to get sort of back to where we were. We're sort of um, just poking along. <laughs>